Hi, I'm Rob with Hay Needle. This is a short video on the assembly of the corner computer desk. The estimated time on this assembly is around two hours, and the tools you will need are a Phillips head screwdriver and a hammer, both of which are not provided. Start by opening your box and removing its contents. Locate your instructions. Inside, you'll find a parts and hardware list. Take a brief inventory to make sure you have all the pieces needed for this assembly. Our first step is to pre-assemble our panel B. To do so, we'll be using our larger bracket labeled as Z39433 and then our smaller bracket labeled as Z89898. The hardware we'll be using is three of our small Phillips screws labeled as H101725, three of our smaller Phillips screws labeled as H28917, one of our dowel rods labeled as H38169, and four of our pegs labeled as H146242. Starting with our small screws H101725, we'll be using them to attach our larger bracket to our piece B. Extend piece B, and in the three pre-drilled holes, line up your bracket, insert a screw into each hole, and using a Phillips head screwdriver, tighten into place. Using our three smaller screws, we'll now attach our second bracket. Line up with the three pre-drilled holes on B and insert one of your screws into each of the holes and using your Phillips head screwdriver, tighten into place. Now take your dowel rod and into the side of B, push into place. Then using your four pins, tighten one into each of the four holes in the corner of B. Use your Phillips head screwdriver to tighten into place. Be sure not to over tighten to avoid stripping the wood. Slide your metal bracket out now and from the opposite side, pull completely out. Taking our panel C and using our same brackets and our same hardware, we'll now pre-assemble using the same steps we did for step one. Take two of your screws labeled H23491 and six of your dowel rods. Starting first with the dowel rods, take both of your pieces G, place a dowel rod into each end of G on both ends. Now with your piece D, place one dowel rod into each end. Now locate your piece E. Make sure the finish side is pointing up. Then place the finish side of D up also. Place E against D like so. And using your screws, tighten through D to E using your Phillips head screwdriver. Using two of our cam locks labeled H146243, we'll now be attaching our pieces G to our pre-assembled panel labeled as C. Take your first piece G, making sure the raw side is facing towards you. Place the peg into the right hole and your dowel rod into the left. Repeat this on the opposite side with your second piece G. From the opposite side, take your cam locks, place into the holes of G, and using your Phillips head screwdriver, turn to the right to tighten into place. Now take your pre-assembled piece D and insert it into the back of C using two of your cam locks to tighten into place. 
using two of our feet labeled as H20385 and a hammer about an inch and a half from each corner from the top and bottom, gently tap into place. Using four of our cam locks and two of our feet, we can now assemble our side B to the opposite side of C. Place your pegs and dowel rods into the holes of B. Using your cam locks and your screwdriver, lock the pegs into your pieces G and turn using your Phillips head screwdriver. Using your hammer again, tack two more feet onto the bottom of B. Now we'll be assembling our pieces F, K, J, I, and H. Let's start with H. Taking your pin into the farthest hole, tighten into place. Then with your piece I and a pin, do the same. Now come over to your piece K. Place one of your pins in each of the four holes in the corners of K and tighten into place. With your piece J, take two of your dowel rods and place one on each end. Now with our piece F, take six of your pins and place one on each end and your two remaining on the sides. Go back with your Phillips head screwdriver to fully tighten into place. Using six of our cam locks and six of our cam lock covers labeled as H153026, we'll now attach our pieces H, J, and I together. First, take your cam locks and in each corner of H and I, place making sure the plus and minus sign are pointing up. Now, take your piece J, insert the peg and dowel rod together on each side, then place your cams in the bottom using your Phillips head screwdriver to turn to the right to tighten. After your cams are tightened, take your covers and place over your cams. Now, Take your piece K and insert the pins into the holes at the top. Use your Phillips head screwdriver to tighten into place. Once tightened, place a cover over each. Using our four long screws labeled as H23491, we'll now attach our piece we just assembled to our piece F. Place your piece up to your piece F from the opposite side. Place one of your screws into each hole. Use your Phillips head screwdriver to tighten into place. Now take six cam locks and then the bottom part of the cabinet we've already installed. Place one into each of the six holes. After you have all six in place, take the piece that we just assembled, place the pins and the dowel rods into the holes together, then tighten your cam locks into place. Now take your caps and place them over your cam locks 
after they're all tightened. Using now our screws labeled as H34174, we'll be using them to attach our piece L to the back of our cabinet. Place one screw into each of the holes down the sides, top, bottom, and middle of L. Use your Phillips head screwdriver to tighten into place. Now using our screws labeled as H23119, we'll be attaching our brackets H100446 and 49992 to our pieces P and Q. Start with your smaller brackets on your piece P. Line up the holes in the brackets with the holes on the ends of P and using our screws and a Phillips head screwdriver, tighten one into each hole. Now taking our bigger brackets, align with the holes on the side of Q and using our screws and Phillips head, tighten into place. Using six of our screws labeled H28917 and six of our other screws labeled H101725, we'll be attaching our silver brackets labeled as Z39433, our black bracket labeled as Z89900, and our second black bracket labeled as Z89901. To our pieces, R, R, U, and V. Start by taking your panel's R, making sure the groove on the back is both facing the same way. We'll be using our screws labeled as H28917 to attach our black panels. Start with your first, it'll say DR on it. Line DR up with the holes on R, then your second bracket labeled DL should face the opposite way, line it up as well. Use your Phillips head screwdriver to tighten your screw into each of the three holes on each panel. Now take your panels U and V making sure the groove on the bottom are facing each other, we'll be installing our metal brackets. Make sure the closed face is pointed away from you and lining up the bottom hole of the panel with the second hole in the bracket and line up the rest of the holes. Now using your remaining six screws, we're gonna use our Phillips head to tighten three into each panel. Using our four screws labeled H26053, we'll now be attaching our pieces R and our piece S. Start with S, making sure all of your ridges are in the inside. Place R on the end of S and using two of your screws, tighten into place. Repeat this step for the opposite side, making sure the spin on your bracket is facing the edge. Using four of our small screws labeled H101725, we'll now attach our piece T to the inside of R and S. Just slide into the grooves like so. Then, take your piece P, making sure the groove is on T, connect like so. Now using two of your screws on each side, insert and tighten into place using your Phillips head screwdriver. Using four of our bolts labeled as H127839, and two of our handles 
labeled as H156811, will now attach to the outside of our drawer, starting by placing the bolt on the inside and the handle on the outside and tightening into place using our Phillips head screwdriver. Repeat this step for your second handle. Using our four remaining screws labeled H26053, we'll now be attaching our pieces V and U to our piece W. Just make sure all of your grooves are on the bottom, butt up the ends of W and V, and from the opposite side, place a screw in each hole and tighten into place using the screwdriver. Repeat this step for U on the opposite side. Using our four screws labeled as H101725, we'll now be attaching the bottom of our drawer, X. Just simply slide into the grooves like so. Then taking your piece Q, attach to the top. Using our four remaining bolts, labeled as H127839, and our two remaining handles, we'll attach to our second drawer the same way we did with our first. Place the bolts in from behind, and add the handle in the front, tighten into place using your Phillips head screwdriver. Take four of your pins, and with two of your panels, labeled in into each of the thread holes using your Phillips head screwdriver tighten into place. Now using four of your dowel rods insert two in each of the unfinished size of your panels in. Then take back your pieces in and insert the dowel rods into the holes like so. Use your cam locks in each of the holes and turn to the right using your Phillips head screwdriver to tighten. Repeat this step for your second piece M and N. On your unfinished side of panel O, take two of your dowel rods and insert one on each side. Now take your piece A and with the corner facing your left side, place three of your pins along the top, five on the side, and three on the side closest to you. Tighten into place using your Phillips head screwdriver. In the corner, Place your pre-assembled pieces M and N, then using five of your cam locks, insert in each hole and turn to the right to tighten. Once you have all five tightened, insert one of your cam lock caps over each cam lock. Now take your second pre-assembled pieces M in and place over your pins then again using five of your cam locks insert in each hole and turn to the right to tighten then cap off using your cam caps. It's now time to place three feet on each of the ends of M and N. Tap into place using your hammer.
Now take your piece O and insert the dowel rods of O into your piece A at the four pre-drill holes on the edge of O. Take four of your screws labeled as H83978. Place one in each of the four holes and tighten into place using your Phillips head screwdriver. From the opposite side, insert a cam lock into O and tighten using your screwdriver. Take two of your pins and in the side of your cabinet, insert and tighten using your Phillips head screwdriver. Now bring in your desktop and rest it on your L brackets. From the back, insert two cam locks and tighten. Using the same screws we used to attach our L brackets, attach your L bracket to your tabletop using your Phillips head screwdriver. Once your desktop is secure, you have your finished computer desk.